This is a young man who grew out of a need. He came here, he came to be as he is because things needed saying and the young people were the ones who wanted to say them and they wanted to say them in their own way. He somehow had an ear on his generation and he has set a pace for many people and is now, well, he's now continuing in the, in the same way and there are many others that are joining him. I don't have to tell you, you know him, he's yours. Darkness at the break of noon Shadows even the silver spoon The handmade blade, the child's balloon Eclipses both the sun and moon To understand you know too soon There is no sense in trying I got nothing to say about these things I write I mean I just write them I got nothing to say anything about them I don't write them for any reason There's no great message I mean if, if you know you want to tell other people that Go ahead and tell them but I'm not going to have to answer to it. At a certain point, people seem to have a, a distorted, warped view of me. The spokesman of a generation, the conscience of a, this and that and the other. I mean, that, that I could not relate to. I mean, I could tell you, I could tell you, you know, I'm not a folk singer and explain to you why, but you wouldn't really understand. All you could do, you could nod your head. You would nod your head. I mean, I just about had it, though. I'd, I'd had it with the with the whole scene. Just being pressed and hammered and, uh, you know, expected to answer questions is enough to make anybody sick, really. Do you care about what you're saying? How can I answer that if you got the nerve to ask me? I mean, you got a lot of nerve asking me a question like that. Do you ask the Beatles that? I have to ask you that because you have the nerve to question whether I care. I'm not questioning you because I don't expect any answer from you. What do you think? I have no opinion about that. Well, why? Because I haven't heard you sing, actually. You've never heard me sing. <laughs> and here you are sitting here and asking me all these questions. Mr. Dillon, you seem very reluctant to talk about the fact that you're a popular entertainer and you're a most popular entertainer. Well, what do you want me to say? Well, I don't understand why you uh, well, what do you want me to say? To, uh, do you want me to say uh, uh, who, who, what do you want me to say about it? Well, you seem to, almost embarrassed to admit that you're to talk about Well, I'm not embarrassed. I mean, popular. you know. Uh, what, what do you want exactly me to say? You want me to jump up and say hallelujah and crash the cameras and do something weird? Like, <laughs> tell me. Tell me. I'll, I'll go along with you. If I can't go along with you, I'll find somebody to go along with you. Like, no, uh, but I, I find it. You really have no idea as to why you or no thoughts on why you're popular. That's the, what interests me. I just have no, I haven't really struggled for that. I, I don't... Uh, it happened, you know? It happened like anything else happens. Temptations page flies out the door. You follow, find yourself at war. Watch waterfalls of pity roar. You feel the moan, but unlike before, you discover that you just be one more person crying. Uh, uh, well, they, don't, they don't ask me. Those other two people don't ask me. Why do you? Why shouldn't you give it? Why shouldn't you give it? Well, because they like me. They, they said, we don't like you anymore. You call me a bum. Well, That's all you want. Well, may I have your autograph? You please? call me a bum, you send your autograph. Come on, Bob. Oh, come on. Now, you don't need my autograph. If you needed it, I'd give it to you. And what, what is your whole attitude to life? And when you meet somebody, what is your attitude towards them? I don't what? like them. You don't like no. them? No. I mean, if I, I come in here, what's your attitude towards me? No, I have an attitude towards you at all. Why should I have an attitude towards you? I don't even know you. No, but I mean, and it'd be an attitude if you wanted to know me or didn't want to know me. Well, why should I want to know you? I might be worth knowing. Why? Huh? Why? <laughs> Tell me why. What good is it going to be for me to know you? Tell me. Give me, name me one thing I want to gain. Well, you might learn something from my attitude to life. Well, what is your attitude to life? It was like being in an Edgar Allan Poe story. You're just not that person everybody thinks you are, although they call you that all the time. Bob Dylan, the symbol of the 60s. To uh, who? To uh, the youth of the 60s. Wasn't, who says wasn't, that? Wasn't you the symbol? I didn't never said that. Do you think there is any difference between you in the 60s and the Bob Dylan today? I couldn't tell you. 
Is there a difference between you in the 60s and you of today? Oh, I think so, yes. Uh, don't you think that your music have de developed from the 60s and from... Possibly. When you are around and touring as you are now, uh, do you meet, is it in another audience than you met in the 60s? Mm, no, it's usually the same. Have you failed in reaching the, uh, the new generation? I don't know. But it's, uh, so you, you don't think it's, uh, there isn't a difference really between you and the, the songs you write? No, I don't people. personally don't think so. You don't think so? Great, thank okay. you very much. Thank you. Uh, but when you sing your old songs, you sing them in new versions, it is, that was an effort uh, on your part uh, to, uh, to avoid uh, being caught by the nostalgia. Mm -hmm. It is? Do you want to avoid uh, over-interpretation by singing your old songs in new uh, versions? Mm, yes. Yes. <laughs> that's, that's all you've got to say about that. So don't fear if you hear a foreign sound in your ear. It's all right, Ma. I'm only sighing 